We can treat each other with dignity and respect. We can join I'm sitting here watching the inauguration, getting surprisingly emotional, definitely hopeful. It's the day before my birthday, and it's time for a little adventure. That's about as close as I'm gonna get. It's not really gonna close, but that's all right. It's good enough for one night. Let's get it. Ah, yes. I'm gonna ride my bike up into the mountains tonight where it's gonna be probably 15 degrees. So I'm mostly packing warm sleeping stuff. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Yes, 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 yes. go, go. <laughs> <laughs> My goal today is to ride west up into the mountains. Not too far. I'm going to go to a town called Gold Hill, one of my favorite little mountain towns. It's only about 16 miles away, but it is about 3,500 feet of elevation gain. And I always look at my birthday like the new year for me. It's a chance just to think about the previous year and to set goals for the year ahead and just think about everything that I'm grateful for. And there's a lot to be grateful for. And I like doing that, of course, as you know, outside mother nature is the place to be for something like this. So let's do it. This is one of my favorite streets in Boulder, Mapleton. Ever since I was a little kid, I've loved this street. You know, I didn't expect the inauguration to make me as emotional as it did. And watching that on TV this morning, I was just sitting there with tears streaming down my face. <laughs> tears of joy. It was so beautiful. I'm feeling good about things. Today, on this January day, my whole soul is in this, bringing America together, uniting our people, uniting our nation. And I ask every American to join me in this cause. With unity, we can do great things, important things. We can right wrongs. We can put people to work in good jobs. We can teach our children in safe schools. We can overcome the deadly virus. I know speaking of unity can sound to some like a foolish fantasy these days. I know the forces that divide us are deep and they are real. But I also know they are not new. Our history has been a constant struggle between the American ideal that we're all are created equal and the harsh, ugly reality that racism, nativism, fear, demonization have long torn us apart. Through civil war, the Great Depression, World War, 9-11, through struggle, sacrifice, and setbacks, our better angels have always prevailed. In each of these moments, enough of us, enough of us, have come together to carry all of us forward. And we can do that now. We can see each other, not as adversaries, but as neighbors. We can treat each other with dignity and respect. We can join forces, stop the shouting, and lower the temperature. For without unity, there is no peace, only bitterness and fury. This is our historic moment of crisis and challenge. And unity is the path forward. And we must meet this moment as the United States of America. And so today, at this time, in this place, let's start afresh, all of us. Let's begin to listen to one another again, hear one another, see one another, show respect to one another. Thank you, America. I 
love this town. I really do, with all of my heart. Some of my best friends grew up here, so I was up here a lot as I was a youngin. And some of my best 4th of July memories are in this town. They have the best small town American parade. Very Americana. Speaking of, you know, Inauguration Day and being proud to be an American, I've been very proud to sport the red, white, and blue in this little town many times. I've always been a proud American. I love what we stand for, and I've always tried my best to make my country, my community, and the world around me a better place. We're not perfect, but as long as we're working toward the common good for all, our future will be bright. There may be disagreements in how to do this, and that's okay, as long as we treat one another with love and respect. Hey, buddy. So many dogs. Hi there. Hi there, buddy. What do we have here? Got a little fennel, mozzarella, and roasted tomato quiche. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do oatmeal chocolate chip. So what makes this store so special here? I'd have to say it's probably like the, the locals in town that come in and continue to support it. And yeah. It seems like quite the community gathering place. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, everybody gets to town after they're uh, done with their work for the day or chopping wood. And, yeah. I love that store. I love that store so much. It's always a good time and it was really warm. That fire was awesome. And now I gotta hustle and find a camping spot before it gets dark. Pretty colors in the sky there. All right, here it is. I'm the only guy here. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Happy birthday to me! It's time for a little birthday happy dance. Ole, 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 ole. Woo! -wee! Let's do it, world. Let's do it. Let's let's make some good things happen. You know what that also does is scares away all of the scary animals: bears, mountain lions, chupacabras. All right, I did it. I'm here. I'm all set up. And I feel pretty warm, and I'm very grateful that it's not windy. They, they said it was gonna be really windy, but right now, completely still. And I really have to say, I am so happy about today, Inauguration Day. It brought back so many memories of being at Obama's inauguration when I turned 30 years old, and how exciting that was. And I'll never forget standing out on the National Mall, freezing cold with a whole bunch of women who had driven up from Atlanta and they all had tears in their eyes the entire ceremony. They were so excited that they finally had a president that looked like them with their skin color. And uh, it was really powerful to be standing next to them and, and just feeling their emotion. And uh, it's kind of similar this year with, with Kamala being the vice president. You know, I, I love it. You know, our country is great because we have people from all over the world who have moved here, immigrants who have created lives, and uh, I'm really hopeful for, uh, for Biden's presidency and Kamala. Every birthday, I always just reminisce about the past year and dream about the year to come. I've camped out my last two birthdays and I really like it. Last year I was on the Sea of Cortez, riding the Baja Divide, the year before, I was camping on the side of a volcano, and that was absolutely incredible. So I kind of like going, heading out into Mother Nature for, for birthday eves. Makes me feel good. Nature is where I go when I want to just celebrate and think and dream, and I'm doing all of those things right now. And this coming year, man, I, I'm really excited about it. 
But I, I always say that I'm excited about the coming year. That's just, that's just me. It's not like 2021 is even better. But maybe it will be. Who knows? I just always put out a lot of good energy into the world. And that helps motivate me to get things done and to do projects. And I have so many dreams this year. We'll see how many of them I can accomplish because of travel restrictions. If not, then I'm just going to pivot and my dreams are going to be a little bit different. But my goal, as always, is just to create content that puts value into the world. Goodness, heart, and soul. And uh, I know I'm going to do more of that. I'm a storyteller at heart. And uh, I want to tell as many inspirational stories as possible. And uh, I'm just really thankful for this whole channel. You know, on my birthday right now, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of gratitude and I feel a ton of gratitude for all of you out there, not in a tent. <laughs> I really, I wouldn't have this channel without you. I, you know, I, I wouldn't have anybody to share these stories with besides my mom and my brothers without you. And um, I really appreciate it. I really do from the bottom of my heart. You know, I'd like to see all of you accomplish your dreams and goals. Because I think as a whole society, when I'm talking about making the world a better place, I think when we're all striving towards something that we really love and care about and we're passionate about, I think that makes us all more loving. Because when you're, when you're happy about work or, and life or personal accomplishments, you're, you're in a good mood. You don't want to pick fights. You don't want to be mean, you know? I think if we're all doing better, it, it's going to benefit all of us. And uh, so let's keep on spreading the love. What do you say, everybody? Keep spreading that love. Come on, son, you can do it. It's another day. Sleeping under the stars for just this one night was so refreshing. Yeah! <laughs> you did it, son! Woo! Happy birthday to me. I feel reset and charged up. I'm more alive when I'm outside. It's like my wild spirit gets unleashed. I'm very grateful that this is my home, where I grew up and learn to love nature. So the temperature has really dropped. <laughs> Since I woke up this morning, my water bottles froze, not to mention my fingers and my toes. So I am gonna hustle back down to Boulder no crashes, no flatties, no whammies! Alright, well thank you so much for joining me. Please like and subscribe and do all that youtube -y stuff and stay tuned for a lot more fun and excitement throughout 2021. I wish you all the best.